Well, hello guys, how's it going? I have a little bit different type of video for us today. Um, I have a motorcycle seat here. Now, this is an 80s Harley Sportster seat. It's my oldest brother's. Now, he's a very avid uh, bike rider, um, much more than I ever was. I have owned several bikes in my life. Um, I have none now. I'd like I would like an on, or on and off-road kind of uh, enduro bike or something like that, you know, that I could zip back and forth to work and drive in the sand out here and so forth, but I'm very much a fair weather rider. You know, if you charted my willingness to ride and the temperature, the two lines would coincide or overlap each other perfectly. Um, I'm very much a fair weather rider, but I don't know why I'm talking about this. Um, now my brother says when this is on the bike, he continually slides forward, and it's not too comfortable. Um, I suggested he just put foot pegs on the front axle, you know, but I guess you don't look quite as cool sitting on the gas tank. So we're going to see if we can take some of the swoop out of this so that you tend to scoot backwards a little bit more. I don't know if this, I wish I had the bike here, I don't know if this tends to be at an incline towards the rear. I know not that abrupt, but uh, anyway, we're going to pull this cover off and see, take a look at the foam and see what we can do about it. I'm just kind of shooting in the dark here. It's what I do on most stuff. Now you want to treat this stuff delicately. Well that did nothing. Alright, so I've removed quite a bit of material with the old belt sander. You can see it kind of trends down as we go front to back. It's going down and then we hit the backrest. Hopefully that'll be enough. It's just, like I said earlier, it's just kind of hard to tell without the bike here. And by the way, this has a March 16, 1994 date stamp on it, so if this has not been replaced, if that's original, then I don't know what I'm talking about as far as how old his bike is there, but uh, he has always been one to not care so much about uh, 
the the age and the condition of a vehicle, a, a car or a truck, but he always has a nice bike, and this one is his secondary. It, it's hard to keep up with the guy. I think he has a Kawasaki Vulcan, a newer one, but uh, anyway, get my Saran wrap. It's kind of like a uh, oven bag, roaster bag for a turkey or something. I have one of those. Maybe I should just put one on. Let me see if I have something for that. Well, one of these roaster bags, at least ones that I have, just fall short. So I think maybe I'll slit it and just use the whole sheet to cover it. Well, how did that not... okay. Now I just have an ordinary Sherbonder stapler here. Um, not even too sure what length those are. Could be quarter inch. Don't really need much on this project. Let's get it together. Come on now. So my first bike I think I bought from my oldest brother, I think it was a Kawasaki, like a little three, 300 or 350, kind of a mid to late 90s model. Never had any exhaust pipes on it. Um, then a guy gave me a 69 Honda Scrambler. That was one of those vehicles that I never should have let go but I did sell it it had it had some problems when I got it it was not running and uh, I got it running and I drove it actually quite a bit drove it to school um, and then I bought for my brother uh, was it a 91 Kawasaki Vulcan maybe 94 I don't remember 
uh, 500, a Vulcan 500, and I drove that a lot. Drove it back and forth to McPherson College from my folks' home when I went there, so I drove it half an hour each way every single day, weather permitting. And, uh, yeah, I, I've let them all go, unfortunately. But hopefully on this one, Brothers Heine will be a little bit happier. Does that sound odd? Anyway, um, if you need to hog out a whole lot of foam on a project, get yourself, go to a thrift store and get yourself one of these little turkey carvers. And really, you can really cut it out there and then go to your belt sander and you can smooth it out and fine tune it. But that's really all I have for you. I know it doesn't look a whole lot different, but when he sits down in it, he's going to notice a difference. So, there we go. What else can I tell you? Nothing. So thanks for coming along, guys. Um, you know, if you have a little project like this, don't be afraid to try it. Apparently my big brother was. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Happy to help him out. Um, but seriously, don't be afraid to try this stuff. Worst case scenario, you take it to a professional in the end and you pay him money anyway. So, what have you got to lose, you know? Anyway, God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one.